这个中国的糖尿病患病率，这个是非常高的，在全世界应该是患病人数最多。呃，中国的二型糖尿病跟西方的二型糖尿病有着很大的差别。首先呢，就是我们可能中国对于二型糖尿病的发生，比西方人要易感一些。那么中国人的呃这个体重指数相对西方人是低的。但是他们很容易这个出现一个腹型肥胖，那么这个就会导致胰岛素的抵抗。The Chinese patients always have poor pancreatic beta cell function. Why medicine now is going to develop a new drug to be more suitable for Chinese diabetic patients? Because diabetes is so different. In China, medical leaders. Would like to have new drug with a different mechanism or different way of treating diabetes. So that's when Hua Medicine gets started. In China, when people diagnose as a type 2 diabetes patients, in 10 years, their beta cell function will be gone. And then they have to live on insulin. And then because type 2, they are insulin resistant. If you do not address the insulin resistant issue, if you do not address the beta cell function issue, we will not be able to control the disease. In our body, glucose triggers the insulin release or glucose release and balance our glucose level in a very narrow range, just like thermostats in our building. Glucokinase is a glucostat in our body. We all know the glucokinase has a defection when you become diabetic. Many of current drugs have not been able to target the glucokinase and its defects. And this is what we are doing here. 三零二研究的牵头工作之前，我们是临床医生，对于葡糖激酶的生理作用认识的不太清楚，或者是不太关注。那么在这样一个逐渐的学习和领导这样一个研究工作当中，逐渐了解到葡糖激酶的生理作用。HMS 552 is the fourth generation of glucokinase activator that discovered at Roche and then developed by the scientist and the physician with Hua Medicine. This Hua Medicine is the director of Hua Medicine. I think it's also important to develop a new drug for China. So I accepted this very well. I'm very willing to work with you. This is the first time we are completely aligned with this requirement. After three years, we will give this drug 糖尿病病人带来一个新的治疗手段，所以这样的话，我相信对我们二型糖尿病，尤其是中国二型糖尿病作为胰岛素分泌缺陷为主的这样一个状态，会起到一个很好的作用。这是一个很新的，能够改善贝塔细胞对葡糖敏感性的刺激，进一步提早分泌胰岛素的一个很好的药物。Results has recently published in Lancet. Diabetes and endocrinology. The commentary paper mentioned that this might be the new hope of glucokinase activator for diabetes treatment. After we finished phase two study, um, we have initiated the phase three trial. There's a two parallel phase three trials ongoing now in China. Collectively, we have uh, you know over 100 principal investigators involving the clinical study. The concept of fixing the glucose sensor is working. Through the clinical studies, we have shown that uh, after a period of treatment, our patients, type 2 diabetes patients, their beta cell function start recovering, and their, especially the early phase insulin release has significantly improved. The second aspect is the type 2 diabetes patients, you start to see their fasting insulin level start reduce. Their insulin resistance 
is getting down. We are continuing to try to figure out how and why this drug working differently in the patients. This work of Hua Medicine has conducting is not only say a biotech company want to develop a product, it's actually the ability to engage the scientist, the physician to come together and combat diabetes, a pandemic situation in China. This might be for the first time when we complete phase three trial, we have a new drug discovered, developed by the Chinese scientist and then launched in China first so the Chinese patient can benefit directly from the innovation.